Okay guys, so I've got a really cool one for you today. We are going to be looking at this 10 inch bandsaw from the Viver company. Now I want to give a big shout out and a huge thanks to the good folks over at Viver for sending this unit out to me so I can review and test it for you guys today. So uh, right off the top, uh, I am not a seasoned woodworking professional of any kind. I am, my, uh, my woodworking skills are mediocre really at best to be honest with you. But um, I do like to uh, dabble in the woodworking and uh, I'm just a handy guy with a garage and some tools and I, I like to bang out some little boxes and some knickknacks and some shelving units and um, just small, you know, gift kind of stuff. And um, this tool right here is something that will fit right in with my garage and my tool set and uh, will help me out immensely to take my woodworking skills to really the next level. Um, I hear a lot of uh, professional woodworkers on videos talk about how the bandsaw is one of the most important tools you can have in your woodworking shop, and I believe it. I've been trying to do, um, you know, fine little detail work for a couple of years um, and without one, and it's it's a struggle. So doing notching and uh, small cuttings and ripping and small radius cuts uh, or gentle curves uh, without one of these, it's it's a struggle. So I'm super excited about that and uh, getting to to know it and getting to use it and getting to show it to you guys. So. Um, now also, uh, please notice that uh, this is not a how-to video. I, there are a lot better videos out there of guys to tell you how to use them and how to use them properly and how to use them uh, safely. And uh, you know, this also is not a how-to safety video. Uh, always please use common sense and uh, take care of yourself, take care of your tool, we'll take care of you. And always refer to the manufacturer's instructions on how to properly use the machine and to keep yourself safe. So um, if you uh, use all that and again use common sense, you should be in good shape. So um, there will be a link in the description for this tool. Uh, if you're in the market for an entry level um, uh, bandsaw with a really good price point, I think it's worth checking out. Um, so far, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. So uh, I think with that, let's take a closer look. Okay, so basically this is what showed up at my door. A nice box, a well packaged uh, piece of equipment uh, protected with styrofoam and plastic. And the contents of the box were pretty straightforward. You had the head unit of the saw already mounted on a base that could be uh, mounted to a workbench or uh, put onto the included um, stand. And it came with basically four legs and braces and all the nuts and bolts needed to assemble that stand. And it went together uh, very easily, um, pretty straightforward. I think anybody could handle doing that. It also came with a sliding um, rip fence uh, guide and an adjustable miter uh, slide as well. So as long as, uh, as well as with a um, push stick uh, to keep your fingers out of the blade, much like a table saw would have. So uh, that's really about the, the, all of the contents um, went together really well and uh, also came with the blade already installed and ready to use. Okay, so let's take a quick look at some of the accessories and features of this saw that, um, that we've got here. First thing I've got here that came with to the tool is a push stick, much like you'd see on a, a circular saw or a, a table saw, uh, just to kind of help you keep your fingers out of the, the blade when you're pushing some smaller material through that's close to the blade. I appreciate that. Uh, the next thing that comes with it is this uh, miter attachment that is a slider, has a T-shaped uh, design in it so it will stay in. You just slide it in and it doesn't fall out, which is nice, it slides. And you just loosen the nut and you now have, um, you know, a gauged miter slider that you can use. And it has this rip fence, adjustable rip fence, um, that uh, much like a table saw, just slides back and forth and then locks down. So, and it looks like you can use it on either side. There are, um, metered numbers on either side of this uh, slider. Now the interesting thing about this is that it starts at zero in the middle and, and works out both ways. So that's kind of cool. So you can use use the, 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 the metered gauge here on either side, but it's all uh, metric, it's all in centimeters. So hopefully you guys are comfortable with uh, the metric system and the centimeters. I don't mind it. I find it something like this where you're just counting the number of, of um, you know, centimeters, you know, two is bigger than one, three is bigger than two. That seems pretty simple. A little easier than memorizing all the fractions. Um, but uh, it, realistically, if I'm gonna set up a gauge or a slider like this, I'm probably gonna grab my, you know, my tape measure and set it up like that anyway and do test cuts and make sure that my cut is the right width uh, with tests anyway. So uh, not a big deal, but uh, that's really handy. Uh, we can uh, run, run uh, stock through here and get um, a nice straight cut, just like a table saw, but on a much smaller scale, which I really like. So, 
Uh, we've got this and this and this. I think that's really all of the accessories that came with the, with the unit. So let's talk a little bit about the features. Uh, the first thing I really like and appreciate because I kind of have bad eyes uh, is this LED light. Um, it's adjustable. You can move it around. It'll swivel. It'll turn into any position you like. And, you know, it's bright enough to light up your workspace and, um, you know, keep your eyes uh, clear on what's going on. So, um, you know, that's a good safety thing. You know, any, anytime you're working on small things and you're working close to a blade with your fingers, being able to see it a little bit better is always a good thing. For me, I can appreciate that. Um, the, uh, the next thing I want to show you and talk about that I really like is this safety switch. Um, now, it's, it's nothing uh, to write home about as far as its construction. It's, it's kind of a lightweight plastic, um, it, but uh, its design is very uh, effective. I'm, I'm really impressed with how safe this is, the, the, the design that went into keeping you safe with the saw. This is really the most important piece of safety equipment on here as far as I'm concerned. Um, and they did a really good job with it. Uh, you can't, it locks in place. You cannot accidentally turn on this machine and it's incredibly easy to stop the machine. And I think that's really the most important aspect of this. Uh, you have to very much deliberately push up on this uh, switch to open it up. And even then, it springs back shut. You're not gonna accidentally hit the go button. You have to open it up, hit the button, and then really all it takes is this much pressure to stop the machine and, and or hit it hard. So you push it open, open it up, and turn it on. And just dropping this lightweight lid is enough to shut the thing off. Uh, so, or, and or, you know, if you have an emergency and you've gotta hit it, you're good to go. And then you can, of course, lock it back down again. It's just, it's, just, it's a simple design um, and it works, which I really like. You don't need anything real special if what you have works. Um, so we have the light and the switch. Uh, one of the things it does have a, um, it does have a tilting table. Uh, it's not like um, a mechanical driven gear type thing, like on a higher end saw, uh, but it does work. There's just a thumb screw back here uh, that, or wing nut that you loosen up and you can tilt it to whatever um, you know, whatever uh, angle that you want to work at. And there is a gauge back here, but again, I don't usually trust that kind of stuff. I like to um, take and uh, I'm tape measure or square and I set them up. When I set up a saw like this, I would take a speed square and set it on here, loosen up the uh, thumb screw and set it up to what I see as straight straight enough for my needs. Uh, again, I'm not making fine furniture, but that's straight enough for me. So that's how I take care of that. Um, now, the next thing is that these doors, are, they're very elegant and nice and easy. There's not latches or anything kind of weird to deal with. They just have this really simple and elegant cam design. You just open up, slide that to an open position, open it and close it, and it closes back down. And both doors open up just like that, very easy. Kind of exposing the wheels and um, so changing a blade on this is super simple you just pop off this miter slide gauge to, to be able to slide the the, the, the blade out and then um, you loosen up this tension uh, knob right here pulls the the wheel down so you can get the blade off put a new blade in you're good to go tension it back up to where you like the tension with this and you are off and running now on the back here, there is a, uh, a, an angle adjustment for this top wheel. It's on a, it's on a swivel, so you can adjust the, uh, the, how the machine uh, tracks, how the blade tracks. And so it, you, know, you can keep it in the middle of the, of the wheel and it won't fling off on you when you're, when you're trying to cut. So that's always a good thing. And that, that works really well. I did play around with that a little bit. So uh, also down here, a couple of really cool things is here we've got um, a one and a half inch um, shop vac uh, accessory hole so you can turn your shop back on when you hit the saw and a lot you know a lot a large majority of the sawdust goes down into the bottom and will get sucked out and um, keep your, your garage clean so that works out really well the other really cool thing down here is the speed adjustment this machine comes with two speeds and so uh, the way you accomplish that is you just there's two sets of pulleys in here one stacked in front of the other all you have to do is loosen up the motor tilt it enough to get the blade or the uh, belt loose to take that belt and put it on the other pulley, and then you can um, just retighten the, the motor into place. You're good to go, and now it slows the motor down. And there's a nice little uh, diagram on here showing you which one's faster, which one's slower, and you essentially can cut the speed of the saw down by about half by doing that. 
that's a really nice feature. I think that's really good. If the application you're using this for uh, calls for a slower blade speed, then super easy to do that. So very nice. And just close this back up, turn the cam, and you are good to go. Um, it does have a half horse motor, which uh, isn't uh, you know um, industrial strength, but this is not an industrial strength saw for a hobby saw and an entry level saw. Half a uh, half horse seems like uh, more than adequate. Should cut through whatever it is uh, that you are working with. So I'm happy and pleased about that. And um, so I think that that really is uh, about all the stuff that came with and all the features of, of this uh, bandsaw. I'm super super impressed for the price uh, point that they offer this thing at. It seems to have about everything that you would need. Um, so I think the last thing we got to do is just um, you know turn it on and run some wood through it and give it a proper test. Okay, so I am ready to get this thing fired up. I've got my safety glasses on and I've got this rip fence set up at about an inch and I've got a piece of uh, one by six pine scrap that I'm just going to play around with a little bit and give this thing a, a go. First thing I'll do is I'll rip down um, probably both sides of this thing and take an inch off of each one and see how that goes and we'll go from there. Okay, perfect. Nice little straight cut. You can see here, looks good, feels good. Nice, let's try a long one now. Perfect. That was smooth as butter. You can see that. Nice cut. Went right through it. Nice and straight. Hard to beat. Okay. I like this already. This is going to help my woodworking immense amount. I just pop this off, get rid of my fence, and what I'm going to do now is just kind of freehand a little bit and see if I can um, do a little bit of uh, slight curve work. So we'll open this back up, try it again. Are you kidding me? Look at that. I would never be able to do that with a jigsaw. Or a chop saw, or a table saw, or a hand saw. Goodness sakes, that looks like something I actually made. That looks like, uh, yeah, like a little project. Wow, are you kidding me? Look at that, how nice. That can be a piece of a shelving unit, or a corbel of some kind, or a decorative piece. I run this down a sander, or a hand sand on this, or one day if I get a a drum sander or belt sander, I'm in good shape. Look at that. I mean, it isn't burned. It isn't. It didn't have any trouble making it through. I felt like I could have done even tighter radius cutting, but I didn't want to push it. Um, you know, I don't know how, how how much curves it likes to take, but um, absolutely went through that, no problem. This is really, really going to up the game, up my level on my woodworking game. So very nice. I think that uh, concludes my test. Okay guys, so I think that's it. Um, overall, I'm really impressed. Uh, this thing uh, is gonna really help uh, elevate the level of my woodworking game uh, immensely. I'm just really happy with how it worked out. I have a bit of a mess to clean up, but that's to be expected in a woodworking hobby. I think it'll help if I hook up a shop back to the, to the vacuum port, but um, 
man, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's done everything I've asked of it so far, and I do not see any problems with this machine. Uh, so um, there will be a link in the description if you are interested or in the market for an entry-level bandsaw. This is worth giving a look. At the price point they have this at, to get a fully functioning bandsaw with all of the features that it, uh, that it has and the accessories it comes with, I think it's a no-brainer. I'm, I'm really impressed. I think it's a great tool, and I'm really, really glad to have it. And I want to thank uh, the good folks at Viva for sending this thing out to me. So I think it's uh, it's going to be a good addition to my to my uh, workshop and uh, to my tool set. So um, I think that's going to do it. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.